it. No gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to FS13 on MAFM V2. So the only thing I've done since the last video is I've just started everything and I hit the combine or you know got the combine running. Uh, it's about the only thing that has changed between this video and the last. Um, but hoping that we can finish up this sunflower field today. Uh, we don't have any more straw to pick up as we finished that off in the last video I believe it was um, and so we are all good to go with that we just got the combining to do and then we are all set so we must be sitting here running some grain cart for a while and like I said hopefully we can finish up the uh, sunflowers in this video and get started on some Sorghum. We're gonna actually dismiss this guy because I want to cut this so that he goes straight and quits curving so much. It's kind of annoying because then by the time we get to the corner, this is gonna be like a ginormous curve and it's gonna be like ridiculously annoying to combine around. So we're going to cut this straight and then once we get to the other end we'll do the same because it's this way on both ends so okay he's ready to go on this pass now uh, we're going to move the truck a little bit as well get it up a little closer good right wow we've got 12.4 hours on this tractor that's insane I wonder how many are on the combine 15 that's even crazier So I'm hoping to sit and record a bunch of videos here today on uh, 13 and then get a bunch recorded on 15 and a bunch on my map. Get a bunch of stuff done between the next couple of days and whatnot. <clears throat> so that way I can uh, have everything ready to rock and roll and just get it uploading and I'm good to go. So we're just gonna jump in the combine here and ride along. That way when it starts kinda going crooked. Actually, you know what? Why don't we set up GPS here? And we'll do some combining for a while. I think that sounds a little better. Okay, if my phone charger cord would get the heck out of my way. <laughs> yeah, we'll do some combining for a while. Then when we fill up, we'll just tab over to the grain cart, bring it down. And Unload quick. I think that what we have in the combine here should just about fill the grain cart and then we can unload it and continue on. Maybe we'll just hire this guy again, and we'll just every once in a while hop in and combine for a little while or something. 
Geil. Pipe out here. Yeah, this will fill the grain cart, and then uh, okay, now we can get this guy going again. Just shut that off. So now we got this thing cut straight, so it should be all good now. I'm hoping, anyways. <laughs> Okay, let's get this thing unloaded, and then we'll probably be able to unload the truck as well. As soon as we do that, we can hop over to the combine and unload it. Cause it'll be, whoa! It'll be getting kind of full by then. Which I think we're getting close to the... Oh no, that's right, it was just a little section. For a second there, I was thinking that the spot where there was no fertilizer was like a huge strip, but then I remembered that it was just a small chunk on the very end, so. Some grain carts, when you roll the tarp while unloading, it will, um, uh, it'll, like, unload, except, like, your truck fills, but the grain cart doesn't empty. So you're, like, getting, like, free grain, basically. Or, you know, grain that you didn't plant it, and you didn't combine it, you just got it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it does it so much in 13, but it did it. It does it in 15. Uh, like with the Brent Avalanche grain cart, if you leave it closed, the tarp closed while you're unloading, you can just get. I mean, you could combine a small section and get like five liters of grain into your grain cart throw the tarp on and you can sit and fill 50 trucks or whatever you can sit and fill a whole bunch and get you know tons of grain so we're up at 184 742 for our sunflowers so we're doing pretty good with that we are doing very very well on all of our crops so Not complain. We're gonna have to do a little bit of unrealistic unloading here. I think we're gonna have to drive over the crop because that guy is gonna be full. We'll unload just enough for him to get up to the other end and turn around so that way we can unload all the way down. But we're gonna have to unload just enough so that it will keep running and not shut down because it's full. Our productivity has not kicked in yet. Darn. Yeah, he's at 82% already. So. Definitely need to do this. What in the world do we got going on there? Oh, that's from fertilizing, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna save this. Fert. Okay, so that guy's good now.
Okay, there we go. Hit the wrong button there. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, we'll have plenty of time to finish this stuff. I was kind of wondering there just now if there's going to be enough time to uh, finish the sunflowers and get started on sorghum in this video, but we got plenty of time. combine get up here and turn around and then we'll get to unloading again and while we wait we're gonna take a screenshot here I think I want to get that beast while it's behind the tractor there that's kind of a neat neat shot One chicken. There's always that one chicken that you can't get rid of. I don't know. Oh, it's the rooster, I think is what it is. It's annoying that you can't get rid of it. on this line right here. Perfect. That mirror does nothing for me at all doesn't show me anything that I want to see so I guess we'll just unload until this grain cart fills and then unload into the truck again I'm gonna say we got probably see if we're knocking out five rows in a pass we got two more passes left on this sunflower field about two or three we'll say so not doing too bad we're getting it done bit by bit I think we'll just let it go and we'll just unload this little little under full cart into the truck Gee, the joystick is really touchy I wish I could get the wheel to work with 13. That'd be so much nicer. So much simpler. But for whatever reason, it does not want to. Which, I mean, I guess it wasn't con created for this version of the game. So that's got a little bit to do with it. <laughs> but still, would have been nice.
That's right, this isn't gonna load if I'm not in it. Let's see what our finances say. Wage payment. Almost $5,700. Yowza. So we're 2,118 in the hole yet. In our finances. I believe that we still have loan to pay off, don't we? Yep, we still have half a million dollar loan to pay off, so... If we have a little extra cash from uh, after harvest, uh, we might have to pay off a little bit of that, which I'm hoping to have a lot of extra cash. I would like to pick up another field though, because uh, uh, I threw away the sheet with all the stuff on it that I was would wanting to buy. Um. I don't have a sheet of paper handy. I'm going to grab one here. Uh, I have no paper. I don't have my notebook. So I'm not sure what I did with my notebook. To be able to use that... I don't know what I did with it. It's not where I thought I put it. So. Oh. Wow. Right here beside me in the cubby of my desk. Nice. Okay. What's all this? Oh, that's from field stuff. Okay. So. If I can find my eraser now, we can get some of this stuff written down. Okay, so we're going to pause this guy here for a moment. And we're going to... We're going to hop to the truck, because it's quiet in the truck. Okay, so we need a cultivator first. And the one that we we're going to buy is the 330 True Tandem Disc. And that is fifty one thousand seven hundred and ninety two dollars. And then we needed a corn planter. And let's see, one hundred sixty thousand. Let's see, we we're gonna go for the blue one because it matches our tractor. So we're gonna get the NH thirty eight hundred. Cedar, which is a hundred and sixty thousand, and then we needed what? We need a new mower. That's what we need. Uh, we're gonna do. If we do this, we can sell our rake. And we can just merge our passes into one. I think that's what we'll do. KV. T A A I. So this is the 4028 auto swath. And that is 15,300. And then the tar up, or however you say it, the 3532F, which is 12,950. 
And then we don't need anything in those categories. Do we need anything here? Boy, I got all kinds of stuff in here. Okay, so then we just need a combine, which you're going to do the 590R. For 187,900, the cat 1050, we'll say, uh, Forty two five sixty the con speed for thirty eight seven duels for seven thousand. And then, I don't know if we were going to get a new grain cart, too, or not. Nah. Okay. Resume. Uh, we got about nine minutes, so... Yeah, we'll finish the sunflowers in this video, move everything over to the sorghum, and start the sorghum in the next video. But, let's take a look here and start adding stuff up. add up and see how much we need for everything and how much we need for the things that like are a necessity like the combine and the mowers aren't well the combines not a necessity the mowers I mean like we can do without them but it'd be nice to have them and then like the um, but like the cultivator and the corn planter those are a necessity uh, especially if we want to pick up more acreage those are very much a necessity. We need to shift this course over a little ways. Okay, so 51, 792, plus 160. Plus 15, 300, wait, what? 51, 792, plus 160, okay. And we better grab a screenshot here. Before we get too far along, we're just going to keep unloading this combine all the way down. Okay, so the total for to buy the disc and cedar is 211000 We're getting way off here, why?
All right, and that's harvest. Okay, so that's that's it. That'll do it. Uh, we're gonna bring the truck down here because that'd be a whole lot faster. This truck moves way faster. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything moved over to the sorghum field, get everything ready to go, uh, and then we'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below in the description for links for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.